Today we are going to demonstrate a WRT LRS. When you order an LRS liner, it comes pre-packaged in this box here. We have our label here on the front that will have company name, dimensions, everything you need to know about your liner. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and pull it out. Once you remove your liner from your kit, it's pre-wet out. You're going to finalize your measurement, pull out your double contained tail, and get ready to do your knot. For a step-by-step -step breakdown, refer to our knot tying video. Now that our liner is fully prepped, we're going to connect it to our light train. We're going to lubricate the whole bladder and pull into the launcher. Now we're going to use our bladder pins to secure our main sheet to our launcher. This ensures that our bladder does not move around for our taping process. We apply tape to both ends to protect our bladder from our banding. Once we attach our banding, we use a set screw to lock in place to ensure that our bladder is airtight. Now we take our extra bladder, fold back, and tape. Just like our lateral portion, we apply lubrication. We will do the same application to the main sheet. After removing our green bag, we will rotate our main sheet to the proper direction. We now use twine to get a nice tight wrap on that launcher to ensure no dragging while pulling in place. We use rubber bands to secure the liner to the launcher. We now apply our hydrophilic hat, which will seal off the main line to lateral connection. We are now ready to insert our liner into our pipe. First above ground, we will connect our launcher to our positioner. Now using our five line, we will carefully pull our liner into place. Before our launcher is fully pulled into the pipe, we need to attach our air lines and secure them with duct tape. We then continue to position our launcher. Once we are to our service, we will use our five line to make our final adjustments. We now introduce air to start our inversion process. You want to use your camera to follow your liner throughout the whole inversion. Once your liner is fully inverted, you will turn your lights on and set your timer for your suggested time. Once our cure times are complete, we will drop our pressures and pull our bladder back. Once our bladder is back, we will retrieve our equipment out of our line. Last step would be to post video your line ensuring that everything went smoothly during your cure.